college and in seminary and in grad school, uh, my focus has been on Greek because I want to make sure who Jesus is. And he's proven himself, not only in the text, but in my life. That's why I love Greek, and that's what I try to impart to my students. My name is uh, Dan Wallace. I'm a professor of New Testament studies at Dallas Theological Seminary. I've found that you can demand a lot from your students if you really do love them. You can set the bar really high and they will, they will do well. They'll do better than they knew they could do because they know that you believe in them. One of the great joys in my life is to see students who come in on day one of first year Greek who don't know the Greek alphabet and they're just scared to death. And then four years later, they have mastered a great amount of material. They've integrated into their lives so that they are not farther away from the Lord, but instead are much, much closer to the Lord. And they can utilize that information to proclaim the gospel, to expound scripture, to go on for doctoral programs, to, to write, to preach, to teach. The transformation is utterly amazing. I'm also the executive director of the Center for the Study of New Testament Manuscripts. CSNTM has essentially two objectives. First of all, to digitally photograph every single Greek New Testament manuscript in the world. In the summer of 2013, we were at the Chester Beatty Library in Dublin. We spent a month there. We got to photograph the oldest manuscript in the world of Paul's letters, the oldest manuscript in the world of Mark's Gospel, and one of the oldest manuscripts of Revelation. It's, it was an astounding and wonderful experience. In a very real sense, CSNTM is starting to stand at the head of the stream of all future Bible translations. The ultimate goal is to have these images available to scholars online so that they can access the information and help them work through what the wording of the original text of the New Testament is. And it is our task to be faithful to the scriptures, to expound who Jesus is and what he means to us. And if we do that and help the people that we minister to to truly fall in love with Jesus and truly worship him, then we have done a good job in this life.